So what you're looking at here is the second live session of the Transforming Healthcare course. So we have hundreds of students in the audience and you're actually looking at a panel of um, HIV practitioners and actually an HIV positive patient as well. And we had you know, a good hour long session and dialogue regarding you know, real world in a professional practice. Um, the second half of the class, we actually had the students on their round tables actually practicing what it's like to communicate with each other on a team as it relates to an HIV positive patient. What the interprofessional does is it gets me out of my comfort zone and lets me work with people that I'm going to be working with once I leave this school. Um, a lot of the students have very much the, the same education, we go to the same courses, we talk to the same professors, so it gets us out of that and lets us work with others. One of the benefits to this is to really discuss within our groups, you know, at our events or at the class meetings to discuss, you know, what is your role as a nurse or what is your role as a doctor and what, where does your role stop? We are separated into teams and you have a social worker, public health, um, physicians and nurses, students get to problem solve and case manage. So it really, it increases critical thinking. Um, it, it makes you more self-aware and then also thinking about the other professionals that you're working with. IHI has given me many opportunities to um, to work on the things that I'm most passionate about and I feel like that's unusual. I feel like most organizations say this is what we're passionate about, sign up if you're interested and instead IHI Open School says what are you motivated to make a change in and how can we help you do that. Well, I've really enjoyed um, participating in IPE here at USC. I can't tell you how much I've learned about other professions. Um, one of the things I really think is unique about USC is the fact that we have not just medicine, nursing, pharmacy, some of the typical things that people think of, um, but we also have social work, we have genetic counseling, we have speech language pathology, and these are really crucial parts of the healthcare team that not everyone has um, exposure to um, prior to getting out into the workplace. Our faculty are really committed to those principles that underlie interprofessional education and practice. I mean, we really do walk the talk. We continuously try to create these new opportunities for them to learn and practice together, you know, so that they can take those values out and integrate them in their own practice later. The world of healthcare is changing very fast, and one of the biggest transformations that's going on right now is the need to deliver well-coordinated uh, team-based care in a very highly complex environment. Hospitals and health systems don't want individual practitioners uh, who don't know how to work with other healthcare professionals. They want people who are prepared to collaborate and work in teams, hopefully from their first day on the job. You simply cannot achieve that goal unless you prepare them during their educational experience. We have a very important role in the healthcare delivery, especially as there is more focus on prevention activities, especially with our aging population. I think that's been a very key factor in the demands on our healthcare system. We're fostering readiness for the workplace when we're bringing our students together. And so when health professionals can learn together early on, they're more prepared uh, for working together in clinical settings, um, acute care settings, and even in policy settings. Any prospective students that are thinking about doing health professions uh, at the University of South Carolina, whether it be physical therapy or some other uh, program, really need to realize that interprofessional education has to be a core to any of these programs. You know, you really have to learn how to work with multiple different uh, professions and with the patient to get to the best outcome. So IPE is really a core, becoming a core component of any healthcare provider's education. Um, and that's why I think it's really important and something that students should be looking for in their education.
I like the fact that here at USC, the IPE faculty are very open to feedback. And so if you have an idea or a suggestion or a way that they can improve the current program, they're extremely open to those changes. And so we're actually seeing that in practice with the IPE. Every year they've made little changes to it and that's because of the feedback that they're getting. And so I think that's exciting because ultimately that's where healthcare is going is we're trying to reevaluate what are we doing currently that we could be doing better. The whole concept of interprofessional education makes great sense now. We need to really prepare health professionals from any, all the different disciplines to one, how to work effectively together in teams uh, and how do you uh, really accomplish coordinating and providing care in a, in a team approach um, that includes the patient um, and the family in that. So a part of it's just understanding not just how to coordinate care but how to communicate effectively with all the, the parties that need to be involved in providing the best uh, health care. The program from all the experiences I've had with it uh, is aimed not only at teaching you how to work in an interprofessional environment um, and keep keeping you focused on those building blocks but actually gives you the opportunity to work with professionals who are doing this every single day and professionals that realize we have a broken system and we want to fix it but we need to work together to do that. It provides a kind of critical background in understanding the roles of other professionals that allows you to kind of start collaborating at a much higher level right off the bat as you move into you know, whatever sort of health professions that lies ahead. If we're going to be effective in really managing health and health care at the population level, that needs to be done in a team approach that brings all the professions together um, from the standpoint of from public health to clinical to you know social work and um, other kinds of uh, professionals that are involved in, in coordinating health and health care.